Attention on deck. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. In a moment, you will see today's pass and review. Today, you will see 13 divisions comprised of 879 sailors that will soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Positioned at center deck is Lieutenant Derek McCandless and Senior Chief Alex Velez. They are presenting Training Group 24 for the Commanding Officer's Review.
Division 2, 2, 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer John Dewey. Petty Officer First Class Ahmad Lyons. Petty Officer Second Class John Bartlett. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Recruit Cameron Leonard from Richmond, Virginia. Division 2, 2, 3. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Anito Nebris. Petty Officer First Class, Donald Goodman. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit, Nathaniel Debrin, from Cumming, Georgia. Division 2, 2, 4. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Charlenta Sylvester. Petty Officer First Class Roberto Santana. Petty Officer Second Class Natalie Lee. Petty Officer Second Class Marcus Broomfield. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Amron Gabriela Ortega from Queens, New York.
Division 226. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Chelsea Cooper. Petty Officer First Class Sean McCurse. Petty Officer Second Class Laura Perez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Recruit Maya Menuarez from San Gabriel, California. Division 227, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Shannon Robinson. Petty Officer First Class Juan Gomez. Petty Officer Second Class Jacob De La Pena. Petty Officer Second Class Lindsey Miles. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Senior Recruit Michael Riviera Martinez. From Tampa, Florida. Division 228, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Levon Carroll. Petty Officer First Class Robert McKenzie. Petty Officer First Class Zylona Perryman. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Cameron Kelly from Atlanta, Georgia. Division 229, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Timothy Tabers. Petty Officer First Class Nicholas Williams. Petty Officer Second Class Angel Zuniga. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Braxton Owenson from Lafayette, Louisiana.
Division 230. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Cody Martinez. Petty Officer First Class Larissa Garcia. Petty Officer First Class Jordan Rich. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Stephen Carmichael from Mobile, Alabama. Division A-09, commanded by Chief Petty Officer Michael Cooper. Petty Officer First Class, Peter Bowen. Petty Officer Second Class, Emmanuel Shirley. Petty Officer Second Class, Angelica Lockwood. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Robert Hayes, from Sterling, Virginia. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you for attending. Congratulations, sailors. You've all made it. You're graduating from boot camp and doing so in a time of extraordinary circumstances. Today, we recognize your transformation from civilian to sailor. A sailor is a member of a profession, forged through shared adversity, confident in their abilities, and certain in their conviction that they are ready to handle any challenge. The RTC staff and your RDCs see these traits within each of you. I personally could not be more proud of how you have risen to the challenges we presented and proven that you have what it takes to be members of our Navy and profession of arms. While your time here has been different than others have experienced in the past, fundamentally, most things haven't changed. Like every sailor, you've been trained in firefighting, damage control, seamanship, small arms, and watch standing. You proved you were tough, mentally, morally, and physically. You showed you could work as a team, both relying on one another and being relied upon. You demonstrated the warrior spirit of sailors and earned the right to wear that title. The coronavirus has certainly impacted your experience, but the Navy is inherently flexible and agile and excels when faced with challenges, just like you've all done here during boot camp. But we're not just congratulating you today, we're welcoming new members of the Navy family watching from afar. While I wish you could all be here in person, I'm glad I'm at least able to virtually welcome you. The term Navy family isn't just a slogan, it's a real thing. And I'm gonna let you families in on a secret. We need you to love and support us throughout our service to our nation. Thank you for your love and support of your sailor. You are truly part of our family and essential to the Navy. To the sailors graduating today, well done. We are all very proud of you. Take care of one another and stay in the fight. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day.
that you have given us and for this occasion that has allowed us to celebrate the graduation of our newest and finest Navy sailors. Thank you for the, your blessing of strength, protection, and health that has allowed these young sailors to complete their training here at Recruit Training Command. Thank you for all the outstanding RDCs, instructors, and staff that have worked hard to instill honor, courage, commitment, toughness each day here at RTC. Thank you for the parents and family members that could not be here, but have faithfully supported and sacrificed much so that their loved ones could serve our great nation. So as these young sailors go forth to defend freedom and democracy during these stressful times, we ask you to protect them with your mighty strength and guide them in your love and peace. May you also heal our nation and the world and put an end to the spread of COVID-19. May God bless you, may God bless America, and may God bless the United States Navy. Amen. Throughout your time here, you've been taught toughness. You have been taught to run to the fire. You have been taught to deal with acute stress, how to process it, and still move forward. You've been taught all that stuff. You've been taught to overcome challenge, and you have overcome challenges. The fact that you're sitting here today says you've done that. Because here's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to be tested. It's coming. One of you is going to be sitting in your gym, working out, and you're gonna hear a loud crash off the back of your ship. And when you get up topside, a helicopter with 25 people has hit the back of the ship and fell in the water. And now you go to mass casualty and start rescuing people. One of you is gonna be eaten from the mess decks and you're gonna hear the flight deck fire, drill, fire alarm go off. And you're gonna to run to the flight deck to suit up and there's a Harrier jet with two 500 pound bombs on board, a pilot in the cockpit and the plane's on fire. And you gotta go combat the fire. One of you is going to be sitting in combat off the coast of Africa and you're going to hear missiles inbound. This is not a drill and you're going to have to react. Everything I just said has happened to our Navy in the last four years. And sailors like you responded and took action. Your test is coming. Are you ready? Yes! Weak, weak. Are you ready? Yes, Chief. I am proud of each and every one of you. You are absolutely the generation of sailors I want to go to war with. Be proud of what you've done. Earn it every day. I'm proud to call you shipmate. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. I look forward to seeing your graduation tomorrow. Congratulations to your parents. Hoo ya. Hoo